Happy Monday. It's May the 6th, Hebrews chapter 8, 1 to 6. Now the main point of what is being said is this. We have this, high, this kind of high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary in the true tabernacle that was set up by the Lord, and not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it was necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he wouldn't be a priest. Since there are those offering the gifts prescribed by the law, these serve as a copy and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses was warned when he was about to complete the tabernacle. For God said, be careful that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain. But Jesus has now obtained a superior ministry and to that degree he is the mediator of a better covenant which has been established on better promises. All right, so our heavenly priest. It's interesting to me that the discussion of priests is so prevalent in the book of Hebrews. I guess it makes sense because the Jewish people depended so much on the leadership of the priest, not only in their worship and faith, but also in their government. Priests had a lot of influence. So in chapters 1 through 7, we have seen the writer make a powerful argument for Christ. Jesus is the object of our faith. And in chapter 4, the writer began building the case for the superiority of Jesus' priesthood. Jesus is high priest, and truly the highest priest. This topic will continue into chapter 10. In this chapter, chapter 8, we'll consider the superiority of Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus is the high priest who doesn't just visit with God the Father once a year. Jesus is at the right hand of the Father all the time. He is our heavenly priest. Whew. We'll see you tomorrow.